Hi guys, this is Rack and Load and just wanted to wish you a happy new year really. Um, hope you've all had a good Christmas, loads of shooting, loads of shooting goodies off Santa. Um, just wanted to give you a bit of an update on the channel and uh, basically what we've what we've pretty much covered uh, over uh, 2017. Um, I say I've got loads of video in the can that I haven't done. Um, I've, we're in the middle of a house move. Yeah, listen to my excuses. We're in we're in the middle of a house move, so I'm going to sort of lose my studio stroke man cave, and I'm going to have to sort of reconfigure that in the new place where we're moving to. Um, so there's going to be in 2018. There might be a little bit of a lull, um, bit of a quiet spell, video wise. Um, I'm trying not to make that happen or let that happen. Like I said, I've got loads in the can. I'm sort of just going to schedule them on YouTube to sort of go out, basically, um, while we're doing a house move. So there's no sort of law. But ho hopefully there won't be, but see how it goes. But before we move, I'm trying to just cram loads of videos in. I've got loads to do. I've got loads, loads of videos coming up. But as far as uh, 2017 goes, we've done quite a bit um, as far as... Uh, you know, reviews, um, testing and whatnot, um, loads of stuff. There was some big, big uh, guns that we did in uh, in 2017, like the, uh, just just happened to have one here, I ended up getting myself one. Um, the Typhoon F12, um, box-fed semi-auto shotgun, that thing is so cool. You're gonna see loads of this thing um, in action in 2017. Um, it's just so cool, so cool, what a great shotgun. Uh, I've reviewed this, uh, I made a bit of a mistake actually on the review that I did. Uh, I need to sort of update that, um, I think I did actually in the uh, in the details of that video. But I actually, I had a loan, um, one of these on loan, it was a black one that I'd done the review on. And I actually cracked it open, took the pin out, opened it up without the breech flag in. Yeah, um, and I actually uh, knackered up the, uh, I think it's like the feed pins that are in there, whatever they are. You're not supposed to do it, you're supposed to have the breech flag in so that uh, the bolt isn't sort of rubbing on these pins. Uh, it's kind of complicated, but I need to correct that. So <laughs> if, you ever, if you ever get one of these and you break it open to look inside the guts, leave the breech flag in, else you'll have uh, serious problems with it, okay? It only says it, my excuse, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw out my excuse. In the manual of these, it's got it in the tiniest print. Um, it needs to be in big print, big bold print. Do not open this gun up, as in taking the pin out and sort of field stripping it without the breech flag in, okay? So that was my mistake. So a friend's um, Typhoon F12 that I had on loan to do that review, I knackered up for him by doing that, so yeah. We live and learn, we live and learn. But anyway, <laughs> he's probably uh, cursing at me right now, but no, I think you've done enough of that anyway. Um, but yeah, you'll see plenty of this in action in 2018. Um, I just happened to have one of these in FDE. I think I've got a problem actually with uh, with FDE, um, but it must be my favorite color. Got loads of guns in FDE. But anyway, um, but like I was saying, yeah, 20, 2017, we done loads. Um, I say that was a that was a big player in 2018, the Typhoon. Um, we've done quite a few air guns. Um, we've done quite a few um, box-fed shotguns, actually. Done the UTAS, done the uh, the Hatsam Raider. That was quite an interesting uh, shotgun. Quite a good shotgun, to be fair. But this one seems to be um, leading the way, the F12 does. So, But like I say, you'll see plenty of this in action. Um, I've got, actually got this thing sort of set up. Well, I did have it set up for slug. I had a red dot on here, um, but I destroyed that. It was a hawk red dot. Uh, don't think it likes shotguns. Um, after about 10 rounds of slug, I lost the red dot. I couldn't find the red dot actually when you look through it. So I think I've destroyed that. It wasn't the battery or anything, but hey, -ho, whatever. But moving on to 2018, loads, loads and loads going on. Typhoon F12, loads of action with that. There's going to be more action of my um, uh, Remington 700 Accuracy International. Uh, I finally got this um, shooting straight. This thing is 
been giving me a lot of problems in the last uh, couple of years since I've had it. It's just not been on the money whatsoever. Uh, I had a Hawk Sidewinder scope. Yeah, I know, not the greatest scope. <sighs> They're all right for the money, but this rifle wasn't particularly um, liking it. So I ended up getting a Vortex on here. Um, see, and I took the... Um, I had like a weird mount on here. Sorry, I'm off camera. Um, I, had a, I had like a weird mount. It was like a Knight's Armament mount on here. I don't know whether it was real or whether it was airsoft. It came with a gun, but... It turns out that uh, when I've, I've eventually got that annoyed with this rifle that I just took it in. Gunsmith had a look at it and he was like, dude, your, your, uh, your mount is actually bending your scope. I was like, that might have a little bit to do with the problems that I was having. And it was like shooting three foot to the left or something. So it's ridiculous. Anyway, Vortex scope, Vortex mounts, decent ammo, bang on. Absolutely bang on. Um, it's shooting straight as a die. The only thing I've got to do is get a decent trigger and it's still got the original trigger. I've wound it right down so it's, you know, it's um, it's sort of shooting. Yeah, it's still, it's still a crap trigger, basically. It's a Remington 700 trigger. So it's still got a little bit more to do to, do to this uh, rifle, but it's shooting loads, loads, loads better. Than what it was. Uh, also, I've not put it on. I should have put it on. She, she's going to kill me. Yeah, Alison from um, Wildcat. Um, I've got Wildcat uh, moderators that I've had for a number of months now. Uh, I have been testing them, uh, but you're going to see videos on them. Uh, full sort of strip down and review of the Wildcat uh, Predator 12. I've also got the um, the Wildcat Evolution 22 for the for. 22 rim fires, such amazing um, moderators they are. You're gonna see some reviews on them. Uh, so that's gonna be coming up. Uh, what else? Oh, let's just put that down. Uh, not forgetting you air gun guys, because some of my biggest videos on this channel are air guns. Uh, got the new Krell Puncher Armour PCP. Very interesting. Not very left hand friendly, I might add. So that's going to be my first gripe straight out the bat. Um, but it looks pretty cool. Not actually fired this thing yet. Um, I'm going to uh, be doing some testing um, on this thing uh, very, very shortly. Um, and then we'll get the, uh, get the review out. God knows when the review will come out. I've got such a backlog of, uh, of videos to do. It's unbelievable. And then uh, I'm going to crack on with this, back on to, sorry air gunners, that was a bit brief, but uh, there's loads coming up for you air gunners. Also got the um, PPQ, the Walther PPQ, uh, coming from Oceania, I can never say that, Oceania, Oceanic, oh. Oceania Defence, I'll call it that, uh, they'll, they'll kill me now for that. Um, got their um, PPQ. The Walther PPQ, um, that's coming soon. Uh, the long barrel, um, long barrel pistol, 2-2 rimfire. That's kind of going to be like a new kid on the block for 2018. Looking forward to reviewing that. Um, and I've also got, you guys all look like this. I've been doing quite a lot of ARs recently as well. I love that Chris um, Defiance AR-22. That is so cool. That is so cool. I've done the... Uh, Northwest Custom Parts Polymer AR. That was really good as well. I was very impressed with that. And I'm like, God, I'm doing all these ARs. And I'm like, I really do need one. Because as it stands at the minute, I, I do not own an, an AR-15-22. Or straight pull or centre fire. I, don't, I do not own an AR-15 at the minute. The one that I've got on loan at the minute is another North Northwest Custom Parts one. Um... It is a, uh, I think it's pretty much a Spikes uh, tactical, but um, you know most of their bits and pieces on it. I'm not going to go into too too much detail because I've not got all the details sort of with me. But this thing is very sexy indeed. Um, so light, not with that black dog uh, 50 rounder in. Um, in fact, let's just take that out and I'll, I'll sort of show you show you in more detail. It is clear, by the way. Um, but how cool is that thing? 
super, super lightweight. Key mod um, rail on it. Really, really sexy. What a what a cool little rifle for um, sort of three gun maybe or um, mini rifle. That's a nice, nice little rifle. That I've done a lot of testing with. Uh, finally going to do the uh, review of that. Hopefully after this video. Um, but uh, but yeah, and then what else we got? 2018. Well, obviously we're going to get loads more stuff, no doubt. Um, that will be thrown my way, hopefully. Um, and then we've got the British Shooting Show in... Uh, is that in March? February, March. I don't know, my head's spinning at the minute. Honestly, guys... Um, don't move out, it just fries your brain. Um, yeah, we've got the British Shooting Show. Uh, hopefully, I'll be going to that. Um, I'll, uh, if I do, you know, come and say hello. I'll be about uh, sort of just annoying people as ever. And then the biggie for me. And now I was going to go to the um, the big Utah shoot um, where uh, like Callum from English Shootings go in. Loads of uh, like the three gun uh, lads are going to that. Um, I'm not going to make it this year, what with the house move and, uh, you know, it's kind of making me feel a little bit guilty about going because I've got a young family at the minute. So I, I, I really want to sort of put that money that I'd pay for that trip towards like a family holiday. I know, I know, but I've, got, I've kind of got to put family first. I'm a family man at the end of the day. So I would have liked to have gone to that, but uh, and I will do, I will go probably probably 2019 if they, if they all go to it in uh, in 2019 I'll hopefully go to that <clears throat> um but the big one for me in 2018 is going to be the IWA in Germany I've uh, I've been I've been allowed to go to that by the missus <laughs> so I went to that this year my god what an amazing amazing show that is uh, unfortunately it's not open to the public sort of just trade and press only uh, so I was lucky enough to go to that this year with um, the guys from Shooting Sports Magazine and uh, Gun Mark. Got to plug them, by the way, guys, because I do uh, I do write for them. Uh, occasionally I'm in there, um, you know, with my, my little reviews. Um, so, uh, yeah, God give them a plug. But I'll be there in 2018. Um, in March, I'll be going to IWA in Germany with those guys again. I might do a video log. I was going to do it last year, uh, sorry, this year, but it, it kind of didn't really work out. Uh, I got that much footage. I've even got footage that I've not used from that. You know, uh, I got that much stuff. It's just unbelievable. But I might do. I see how it goes. I might do like an actual video log of the actual trip, um, just to bore you guys with. And then obviously there'll be loads of sort of booth reviews. All the new stuff will kind of, kind of get the scoop on. Uh, new new stuff that's going to be coming over uh, to the UK and stuff that's coming out in general um, so that'll be cool really looking forward to that you know it's if you've been to the British shooting show um, the IWA is probably probably oh god I wouldn't like to guess at least 10 times bigger at least um, it's like it's just ridiculous the first day um, I walked around it when I got back to the the room where I was staying, my legs were just dead, honestly. Uh, so I think I might do a bit of training before I actually go there because you just walk miles, miles and miles, and there's just that much stuff. You, you can't even cover anything. You can't cover everything. It'd just be impossible. Um, but yeah, I'll be yeah I'll be reporting back from that. You know, so uh, that'll be cool. Really looking forward to that. Um, what else 2018 we're going to be doing we're going to be doing a bit more sort of run and gun sort of action videos i tend not to get a lot of views on them for some really re reason it's more the reviews that i do but try and tune in guys and watch the uh, the run and guns you know they're quite good fun uh, we've just done one on a uh, a run and gun with like using the mose and the gants um i've done a little one uh, using this as well i'll put that out as a separate video just a bit of fun running you know with this thing um, so you, can, you guys can see how slow and crap I am at reloading. Um, but yeah, going to be throwing out a few more videos. If you guys got any suggestions on different videos that you want doing, just let me know. You know, I'll see what I can do. I'm always open to sort of ideas and stuff. 
Um, but that's it, guys. Really, yeah, I'm sort of just looking around here. What, what have I not shown you? What for? No, we've got nothing really yet. Got a few product reviews coming up that I've got sort of here, ready and waiting. Um, well, some stuff that I've had sort of quite a while, like the like the Wildcat moderators, for for example. Um, I've got, in fact, let me get it. I've got a nice Gucci bit of uh, kit here that I've had ages. Um, it's a javelin um, from Spartan Arms, a javelin uh, bipod. Uh, it's like a full carbon fiber bipod. Uh, these are like 250 quid here in the UK, but all carbon fiber. That's a separate video, gonna be sort of uh, testing that out. I've had this thing probably nearly a year and I've not done out with it. So that's coming up. <sighs> all that, what with a house move, young kids, uh, my brain's gonna be fried. But anyway, I'll keep the channel going guys. So I'll just keep pushing the videos out there. Like I said, let me know what you want. You know, you guys are, make this channel. And I've got to say a big thank you anyway for you guys tuning in, staying subscribed. I mean, we're up 16 and a half thousand subscribers now. Um, hopefully we'll hit the big 20. Ah, yeah, that's something I've got to say. 20,000 subscriber channel giveaway. Hopefully, well, I think we will hopefully, um, excuse my French, piss it uh, in the next, um, next year, 2018. Um, we should sort of get to 20,000 subscribers. When we do, my God, someone, some lucky winner, maybe, maybe, possibly, a couple of winners, three winners, I don't know, because I've got that much stuff sort of coming in for this sort of prize bag. Um, there's bits and pieces to sort of to give away, um, but the, one of the major prizes here is a deer stalking experience. So some lucky winner's gonna gonna be uh, sort of taking part in that. If if you're into that, that is obviously you know. And then the big one, the real big one, is with uh, Sharpshooting UK. They've donated a prize where they're basically gonna be teaching you how to shoot. Okay, long range. And when I say long range, I mean one mile. Shooting one mile, guys. Um, shooting steel gongs at one mile. So um, that's going to be with Sharpshooting UK. Um, whoever wins that, I am going to come with you and I'm going to video it. Um, so that'll be a cool vid. And obviously I want a little go as well. Um, so that is going to be a cool, cool prize for someone. You know, it's worth a lot of money as well. You know, very kindly donated by uh, Sharpshooting UK. All the bits and pieces of other companies. Separate video that's going to be when I mention all you guys. I'm actually wearing one of the prizes. Three gun hat. <laughs> so loads of bits and pieces. I'm going, to, I'm going to be on the scrounge anyway for more bits and pieces to really sort of make that prize even cooler than it is. I don't know whether it will get any cooler than it is because it's pretty damn cool with those prizes. But um, yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll really sort of um, get a nice, nice bundle together. But that's for the 20,000 subscriber um, giveaway that is. So anyone can win this prize. Doesn't matter if you, you know, if, if it's someone subscribing in a few months time or you're already subscribed. The phrase that pays guys, um, and you, you can do it now, you can start doing it now on the latest vid, is sub, you've got right in the comments, subbed rack, okay? So rack. Short for rack and load, that's what I'm known as. Subbed rack, just put that in the comments, okay? Um, and then you'll be sort of drawn out of a hat. You know, I'll pick some lucky winner. It's gonna be UK only, guys, I'm, I'm afraid, because um, of like sending bits and pieces out, you know, and obviously the big prize is over here in the UK. It's gonna be um, the, the long range shooting with Sharpshooting UK, that's gonna be over in i think they're based in yorkshire uh, north or south yorkshire i can't remember now so obviously you've got to get to that so if you live in australia mm, might be a bit of a problem um but that's it guys so yeah um happy new year thanks for you know um supporting the channel you know keeping up with the channel say staying subscribed um i've got a patron thing everyone's going sort of mad on this patron thing um at the minute where they're basically saying, oh, can you sub, sub, um, support the channel, you know, go on Patreon. 
I've got a Patreon um, account. It, the, the details are in the details of this video and they're on like the main channel page. If you want to help the channel out, you know, um, you can become a patron. I'm not going to shove that down your throat, guys. You know, I've got a good job, um, you know, and, I, you know, I, the channel sort of does kind of pay for itself, you know, YouTube and what with my writing, you know, it covers, it covers most things. But if you want to help support the channel, help, help support the channel, it does help cover ammo, you know, cameras cameras are the main thing the amount of cameras i get through i think i'm on my since i started this channel i bet you i'm on my fourth camera now you know and i've i think i've destroyed a couple of gopros as well you know where they've just been battered from muzzle blast um i think one did get hit as well uh, we won't go into that but anyway guys I'm, i don't want to waffle on have a great new year um Thanks so much for supporting the channel, keeping up with it. Um, that's where I can load. Happy New Year, guys. See ya.